for it to come back. A lot of my family got to see me play with me, uh, you know, being born in Ohio and Cincinnati at that. So it was great. It was great to be back, get the rust off a little bit. So I'm ready to go on the rest of the season. Did the McCullers or the Stoopses have the most family here today? Man, I'm going to say the McCullers today. I'm going to say the McCullers today. We were pretty deep. We were pretty deep. You've uh, talked a lot about learning the coverage side of things. Mm -hmm got really thrown in it today. How'd yeah. you feel you played? Uh, I felt like I played good. I had a busted coverage on a uh, screen and go, which I'm still thinking about. But uh, besides that, I felt like I played well in coverage uh, today. I did well with the adjustments that they did with the motions and things like that. So I felt pretty confident. What's it like with Brent Paul Gilbert? I saw Brent Paul Gilbert on that play. What's that Yeah, like? I already knew what he was going to say. I mean, it looks more aggressive than what it is, but um, I already knew, uh, obviously, with a great coach like that, you know, he just wants to get me right, get my head back right, you know, kind of next play mentality, you know, forget about that play because he knows I can be hard on myself about things like that. So, I mean, I just got it out of my head, continued the rest of the game. That's a timeout, too, and yeah. it came right during a timeout. Exactly. So it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been better for me. So, yeah, exactly. So, it was. Uh, I definitely heard. I definitely got an earful for it, but, you know, I fixed that going forward. Not just you, but it wasn't perfect across the board. It seems like the defense through four weeks has been really good at mm. finding ways to adjust, force field. Well, what's that process like? It's really Coach V, honestly. Coach V does a great job of putting us just in a great position, and we just have to do our jobs and stay disciplined to our jobs and not try to do too much, not try to make plays that aren't for us. So I say Coach V, Coach Roof, the whole defensive staff just does a great job of preparing us for the game. After you had that bust, how much of a relief was it to see Key get that interception? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, right after, right after he got that pick, I just, right, you know, I, I was blessed for that. So. Um, Big shout out to Key. You know, he read that play pretty perfectly. You know, he does it do with great instincts. So it was great for us, great for the defense, too, getting a stop down there. They actually moved the ball pretty well most mm -hmm. of the day, but fourth down, you got fourth down stops and red zone stops. Yeah, what third and fourth down. How key down. is that to, uh, to stopping a team? Oh, I mean, that's huge. I mean, if you stop a team on third down, I mean, that shuts down a lot. I think they were 4 19 today on third and fourth down, which is huge. I mean, that's championship level football. So we just want to keep improving off of that. Like I said, we still left a lot on the table. So there's a lot for us to still improve on. What goes with the corral in a rushing attack like what Cincinnati had today? Uh, you're saying like, like, what do you mean? Like, like when you know you've got a, a running attack that offensive line. Yeah, that yeah. I mean, we just got to come in. I mean, stopping a run is really a mentality. Uh, so we just have to stay, stay disciplined to our jobs and have a physical mentality of coming down and hitting. So, I mean, have that mentality regardless of how the offense performing, all outside of factors. We just got to be locked in on what we got to do. This was really your first game at the yeah. Cheetah. Uh, you know, how did you feel? Did you get comfortable at it? Yeah, I ended up getting comfortable. Uh, I, I started to feel comfortable. Uh, I say through all these reps and practice and the uh, spring and the spring game, I kind of had a little, I was a little comfortable with it. Obviously in the game, especially the Big 12 opener, it's a little bit of a bigger uh, bigger stage. So it felt good though. I felt like felt like I was made for that. So I can't wait to keep going on, especially going back home next week while Iowa State's going to be huge. What do you say about what Danny's done so far this season? I mean, he's, been, he's playing like a bucket saw winner right now. I mean, he's literally playing like the best linebacker in college football. He's a great leader for our team. He gets everybody ready to play. I mean, this is the dude that lives by that standard. So, I mean, I can't do anything but be appreciative to him, keep working with him, get our linebacker court better. Whose idea was it to toast the Skyline Chili after the game? Uh, I actually don't know. Okay, so I, we got me and Jonah got handed the chili. And at first we were just supposed to cheers it and kind of, you know, just look and smile. But we were like, let's drink it. So we took it, drink it, then the video cut off right before we had to spit all that out. But <laughs> now nah, it was good though. It was good. I mean, being from Ohio, you, you've had yeah. I, lo I love Skyline chili personally, just not the chili in a can. Just not the chili in a can itself. I'm not a fan. But now nah, I love Skyline. I, and being from here, I mean, my whole, I, my mom had it last night. She asked me if I wanted some. So and now nah, it's been huge though. I'm glad. I'm glad I got a got to have my opener back in Cincinnati. What, what